Oh hey y'all, Fatty here, and thanks for joining me on the channel that's only two debuffs away on my intelligence from making me go insane. And today, I'm bringing you the top three innies for Ark Survival Evolved, and let's not waste any more of your time and jump straight into it. Now, if you don't know what an innie is, it's actually a part of your game file that kind of just controls different things of the game, such as um, leaves on the tree, the night and day cycle, um, the visual effect of water and plant Z's, and when you like zoom in on your scope on different things like the tech rifle and stuff, that is also all controlled by this any file. Now, when you manipulate it in different ways, you can remove bushes, you can see people underwater, you can just do a lot of different things. Now, they're totally allowed on a lot of different servers, they're even allowed on official servers as long as they don't break a certain amount of guidelines. And both all of these ones that I'm going to show you are technically, uh, you know fine to use and whatever so you're going to be okay by using them but just you know some servers are like no innies allowed or whatever so just always be like mindful of that so i i'm gonna just let you guys know all of these are going to be in my discord so right that's a lot of code and different files i'm not going to put all the links in that just in this it's kind of just just a lot of mess in the disc uh, in the description so just go ahead over to my discord and you're going to find all the different ones and i'm going to walk you through each and every step on how to actually put it in as well as what the different ones look like so i'm going to go over the the four different ones that I have on here. The first one is just going to be vanilla. It's going to be a quick little walkthrough on all of them over the same part of the island, just going over some of the key features. So for the first one on the vanilla, right, you can just see kind of underwater. You're going to just see some of the beaches as well as some of the trees as I fly around. Everything looks normal. If you've ever played Ark, yeah, you get it. The next one that I'm going to go is going to be my Bloodstalker Innie. Now this one is, I say Bloodstalker just because compared to the other ones and that's what it's labeled as, but the Bloodstalker one is really just going to be like my FPS boost. Now this one doesn't really change much in the game except it kind of does take away the day night cycle the sky is always going to be this black color but you're going to see all the trees kind of look the same but the graphics look more like this cartoonish and no matter what you do to it it's going to look like this now when i was playing on a laptop and it was a little bit harder to run one of this one or the test one which i'll go over next both ran really really smooth i don't really understand why with all of these test innies and the different ones i'm doing I just went through a lot of the innies I could find online and from other people and just different players I've like shared with. And I just went in and removed stuff, added stuff back in to kind of just see what each individual part of that code did. And I just, for this Bloodstalker one, anything that made my game seem to run smooth, I just put in and it does. It just works really well. Now, the next one I'm going to go over is the test one. Now, this one is actually going to be a little bit of the hard I and I. This is going to remove a lot of effects. This is going to remove the beer effect. This is going to remove the plant Z effect. It's going to remove trees, uh, like the leaves on them. It's also going to remove the leaves on the bushes. Now, you can still see where the bushes are with this one. It doesn't completely remove it, but it does remove like anything that just shrouds as well as as well as everything on that fps boost this one i i play around with so if it says test the discord might be a little bit different than the one i show in this video because it's the one i play around with i'm really trying to separate the underwater effect the plant z and the beer effect all are tied together in the code and i'm trying to find a way to separate this and on this test one it is weird i don't know what i did but oh and the bloodstalker effects tied in with it um, but it has the underwater effect. It, you still get hit with the plant Z, but you do not get affected by the beer. So I don't know how I got the beer to separate. So I keep playing with this one to, in hopes to make it all switch out. Now, the very last one is what I'm going to call my PVP um, any. Now, this one removes a lot of stuff. It makes the game still look nice. So for recording purposes, it still looks really good. But it removes all the leaves, the trees, all that kind of good stuff. As well as when you go underwater, it is just clear for days. So this is a really nice one for scouting as well if you're going to be going around or if you're just generally doing PVP. But come, however, this is an awful one for farming. Do not use it. It makes things like silica pearls, um, the oil that you can whip up on Crystal Isles invisible, like the beehives on Crystal Isles invisible, some of the metal rocks on Aberration. Like it just it, it takes away a lot of stuff. So if you're going to be farming, don't use this. I would recommend using the Bloodstalker one or like I said, the vanilla one. I'll also have in the Discord. So if you need to switch back to that one, you can kind of do that as well. But all of those is what it's going to look like and how that's going to affect your game. So now that we know what you want and you kind of think, oh, hey, I want this I and I. Now you can go to my Discord, pick it out, and I'll show you the steps of how to actually get this into your game. Okay, so what you want to do to actually find the game files where you want to switch this out is go to your Steam, go to Library, then click on Arc Survival Evolved. Drop down to Properties, General, or sorry, not General, Local Files. Then from there, you're just going to go Browse Local Files, and this will bring up pretty much where you need to be. So from there, just click on Engine. I'm going to zoom this up so the icons are just a little bit bigger for y'all. So Engine. 
and then we're going to go down to config. And once you're in the config, you're going to look for this console variables. This is the one that you're going to want to change. Now, it's just a text file. So when you open it up, you'll just kind of see that it is just like a bunch of different text within that. Um, if you don't want to mess with that, the best thing I like to say is just copy the console variables and bring it to your desktop, then go over to where my Discord is, grab whichever one that you actually want, and then just copy and paste that into the console var variables on your home page. Now then just make a couple different folders. I have folders in just a separate one that has all the different INIs. So when I'm ready, I just switch and pull it out and switch out for the one I want. Just make sure it says that still console variables and stuff so that like so that's why I say the best way to do it is just to copy that file and paste it because then it's just already named exactly what you need it to be named. You don't have to worry about misspellings or anything like that because if it's misspelled, it's just going to go back to the default INI. But as soon as you do that, just load up the game. You don't have to install anything weird like that. It's just really a text file. It's as simple as that. I know hearing people like, oh, I have an INI and it helps out or and like does that. It kind of sounds overwhelming like, oh, I'm going to have to do a bunch of stuff for that. It's really a lot simpler than that. So I hope this helps you guys out a lot. If you guys also would like a tutorial how to do a custom crosshair to go over top of this so you can minimize um, the kind of bulky crosshair that it has. Let me know in the description down or the comments down below and I can do that. But thanks for always is watching and I will catch you guys in the next tutorial. Peace. Mm -hmm.